Have you discovered that new forms integration that uh, comes with SharePoint lists now? It lets you create a custom form that is way better looking than, you know, that kind of default ugly one. And it lets you give users a simple link to a form to fill out to add more list information instead of granting them access to the list and having them go to the list itself. It looks really great. We're going to integrate this with a solution that I've shown recently. So let's get into it. We're back in the purchase request list. This is the one that I was showing the quick steps for just recently. We're going to take this one step further and we're going to add a custom form to this so that, as I mentioned in that video, you want an easy way for users to submit uh, purchase requests. Now, it could be Power Apps, it could be Forms. In this case, we're going to go with the Forms experience, but we're going to make it even easier for you to do this instead of having to navigate to Forms and, and do anything to you know special with extra tools. It's all built right here into lists. And the first thing we're going to do is click on the Forms button. Now, we don't have anything selected, and you just see a Forms link. We click here, and it will let us create a new form. Now, you can have multiple forms. So let's let's cover some of the benefits of this system. You can have multiple forms collecting data for different needs, and that alone is a big step up from the current system, the default form, where you, you really just have that one form, right? It's got a modern interface as well. It, it, it looks really good, as you will see, and it supports themes. So there's different color schemes you can go with with the click of a button. So to create our new form, I can click on the Create Form button, and we're taken straight into the form and it's already added our fields on here. Now we don't need to show a lot of these. Uh, some of these things, maybe the um, approval status, approved by uh, approval date, all those are all internal things that we would be using a flow for for the, the approval process and other things. Uh, purchase status, we don't necessarily need that to show because this is just what the end user or the submitter needs to see. We'll also turn off purchase order number and notes and comments. So maybe we just show this right here. Now, as we're turning off these different fields here, it's updating this automatically. So if we will actually wanted to hide the title field. We could hide the title and notice how it just disappears. So this is a really easy way to just show just the things that you need to show. We can click on the uh, field items and mark which ones we want to be required. We can edit different things about this. We can even edit the column itself in the list from this form interface. So it's a very, very cool interface. To go to a different field, you just click on that field. So you can go through and tweak everything the way you need to. Under themes, you'll see the different color schemes we can use. This one's kind of cool. We'll, we'll use this one. We can also create our own style with uh, different colors and backgrounds. So there's a lot of customization you can do without having to do anything difficult or technical. Under settings, you can get notified by email when, when a, a form comes in, which could save you uh, from having to deal with Power Automate or alerts, which by the way, were just announced are going away. Hopefully you got that you saw that news. If you didn't, then you need to be subscribed to my SharePoint Insights newsletter. You'll see a link in the description below. It, it, it keeps you up to date with all the roadmap items, all the announcements, all the retirements, all that kind of stuff. But going through here, you can change the form uh, or the message that's, set, that's displayed to the user once they've submitted this. But really, once, once we're done here, all we have to do is click on the copy link button under send form. Now we have a link in our clipboard. We can just email out to people, post on SharePoint, wherever that needs to be for users to get to, you can just post it there because now users are able to fill this out. As they fill this out, uh, we do need to give this a title. New purchase request. Um, please enter the following information. Once people are filling, the, or as someone fills this out, it automatically creates those list items. They don't have to navigate to the list. They don't even have to know that there's a list in the background. That's just how simple it is, and that's the way it should be. The user should be unaware of where this data is really being stored. All they need to do is fill out a form, click the, click the button, and they're done. So we can close this because it's already saved. It saves automatically. If we wanted to go back in there and edit this, say we had a form or a field that we needed to hide. 
Well, you can just click back on here and you're back in the edit experience. And as you saw, we could create additional forms right here as well. Now, if you wanted to stop uh, accepting responses, you could click this button. And what that would do is when someone goes to the form, it would say that uh, no more submissions are being allowed at this time. So you could turn on and off that form without actually having to delete it, which saves you a lot of time. You also see options to duplicate the form uh, and, and, and of course, delete that if you don't need that form anymore. Now to see what this form looks like, we could just bring up a new tab and go to the form. And it's really simple. It looks great. It gets all the information that we need to collect from a user to, process, to start to process a purchase request. So we're done with the form. Let's just go take one last look at this list. This is, this is a feature that will really, really help your list. It gives it a nicer interface. Now it's not taking the place of the add new item button. You're, you've still got that old form here. Uh, that, that you know it's it's okay it, it's fine if you're in this list you see just what you need to see but for the end users this new form powered by microsoft lists is a great way to level that up and give them a better user experience it also keeps them out of your lists that's a big bonus in my book. Now, SharePoint's got so many features and it's hard to keep up with all of them, but I've got a playlist that covers a ton of topics on SharePoint, including some of the new features, like the quick steps that I had covered uh, just a few videos ago. So if you wanna get started with that playlist, just click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.